Coming up, I'll give you an engineering tour of the new Surface Go, our latest ultralight surface device in a 10-inch form factor designed for highly mobile experiences. For the new Surface Go, we challenge ourselves to create a device built to the same high standards as our larger devices in our Surface family at a lower price point and a smaller form factor. We wanted to build a device that is versatile enough to function as a tablet or laptop and powerful enough to run full desktop applications. Over the next few minutes, I'll share with you some of the design elements that make this possible. The first thing you'll notice is the same quality of design and modern lines that you would expect from Surface, only much smaller. Its weight starts at just 18.4 ounces. That's just over a pound. Fitting everything that we wanted to in this vastly reduced form factor was our top engineering challenge. Starting with the back of the device, you'll see the rear-facing 8-megapixel camera, a full-friction kickstand capable of lowering to 165 degrees, which is an ideal angle for writing and drawing. Behind the kickstand, we have a micro SD card slot. You can also get Surface Go with LTE, which has a SIM tray for 4G LTE Cat9 connectivity using a two antenna LTE array and a top of the line Qualcomm Snapdragon X16 modem. This is the same modem found in the Surface Pro LTE. And one of the interesting features that we brought to Surface Go is a near field sensor which means that in specific scenarios, this can be used to read RFID tags, to track inventory, or even to launch specific applications. Moving to the front of the device, you'll see we've kept the five megapixel front-facing camera for video conferencing and the infrared camera for facial recognition with Windows Hello. And on the sides, you'll notice an array of ports, including a headphone jack, Surface Connect for charging, and connecting to a Surface dock, as well as a full functioning USB-C port that supports power, video, and data. The screen is a 10-inch, 3x2, optically bonded pixel sense display. It has 217 PPI, and the optical bonding means you get a full 180-degree viewing angle. Each screen is individually color calibrated at the factory for color accuracy. Here I'm running a test app, and you'll see Surface Go supports the same 10-point touch as other Surface devices. So now let's talk about inking. The optional Surface Pen, combined with Surface Go, gives you a full and natural inking experience. And we've recently added tilt support for shading. Behind the display, we use an Intel 7th generation 4415Y processor with Intel HD 615 GPU. Surface Go ships with a number of memory and storage configurations, supporting up to 8 gigabytes of RAM and up to a 256 gigabyte NVMe SSD. We made Surface Go fanless, leveraging passive cooling, which not only reduces the noise, but also the weight and size of the device. And with no air vents required for cooling, it can be used in high particulate environments like factory floors or mines. Switching gears, now let's look at the optional type cover. Here we developed a premium quality typing experience with a mechanical key set and backlit keys. We adjusted the pitch between keys and adjusted the vertical travel to just one millimeter. This in combination with the Alcantara fabric makes a type cover comfortable to use despite its smaller size as compared to the Surface Pro type cover. And while the keyboard is smaller, one part of it is actually slightly bigger, the trackpad. This is the same smooth glass trackpad that we use across the Surface family, allowing precise movements as well as multi-touch gestures. You can also pair a Surface Go with the Surface Mobile Mouse. It's both light and portable, has a redesigned wheel that is great for scrolling, and connects via Bluetooth. So that now brings us to the device experience. We chose to stay with an Intel architecture for predictable performance, whether using modern apps or full desktop software, making this a no compromise device. Here I'm running Excel, my browser Edge, Microsoft Teams, and OneNote which together are a demanding set of apps against system resources. As I multitask between apps, you can see they all continue to run smoothly. I can easily work with my data, and it's responsive. It's also great for collaboration, even when you're out in the field. Here in Microsoft Teams, I can easily move between chats and online meetings, all while I'm on the go. When it comes to battery life, we designed Surface Go to give users up to nine hours of use. And this is a Surface Connect charger for Surface Go. It weighs a little less than five ounces and it's about half the size of a regular Surface charger. 
If you need to recharge and don't have a Surface charger with you, Surface Go can also charge through its USB-C port. Whichever method you use, this device charges fast. Intelligent charging means that you can fully charge this device from 0 to 100% in just two hours. So now let's talk about durability. We expect Surface Go to be used outside of an office environment. For example, in schools, in healthcare, and in the field. And like all Surface devices, we've put Surface Go through a battery of stringent use case tests. We've also worked with top accessory manufacturers worldwide to produce ruggedized cases and screen protectors, including some to mill standard specs. So that's a quick engineer's tour of the new Surface Go, our 10-inch ultralight device. If you're a highly mobile user or student, it gives you a great portable form factor with excellent power, performance, and battery life, all at a great value. To learn more about Surface Go, please check out the link below. And keep following Microsoft Mechanics for more on the design and management of Microsoft Surface devices. Thanks for watching.